How's it going? How are you doing, stranger? How are you? I'm good. I'm going to start right here. So, so. What you need to know? You're regular this season. We don't talk about my bathroom habits. I, 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 I phrased that incorrectly. I'm like, who am I talking to? Why did I say it? So, how is this going to... You've got so much paraphernalia there. It's ridiculous. Yeah, this is from our photographer. She's, she's cool. Um, how is this going to affect uh, Crowley and, and what we see of him? Are we going to see a different side of Crowley now that we're going to see more of him? Crowley's not a series regular. I'm a series regular, so... Okay. That doesn't mean anything. I was just saying. <laughs> so, so is there a chance that there might be... Uh... In my 18 other personalities? Yes. <laughs> you have to ask Jeremy. So for a lot of this past season, uh, Crowley spent some time being Sam and Dean's bitch, essentially. Never. Well... Uh, captive. Being captive is, yeah. is, is, is not making you a bitch. Do you think that, That's terrible. Uh, Very bad use of words. So <laughs> the women here object to that statement? I kind of do, too. Do you think that now the tables will be turned, given that the Dean's new situation probably will be much more in charge? I have no, I have no idea. You'd have to ask Jeremy. <laughs> I really don't. I'm having one of those years, trust me. I don't have anything to say. No, there's not really a lot I can talk about. How are you doing? I'm doing alright. <laughs> how much are you told? We don't need to know what you are told, but how much are you told at the start of the season about what's, up, what's coming up and how much is a surprise when you open up this well, There's always surprises, which is the good part, but, um, but you know, because. Certain things have been formed, certain things haven't, but, but you know, they've always seemed to let us know roughly where things are going, which is wonderful. But there's always been great surprises. Until the script is fully written and fully fledged and, and has numbers on it to show that it's being shot in certain order and the rest of it, it, it it's, doesn't really exist. You know what I mean? The idea exists, there's you know, breakdowns of stories and there's the stuff that we find out, but but it's when the final finished script is a production draft of the script has been approved and everything's done. That's when it gets really exciting. Okay, well, Crowley almost uh, became human. Juicy. And there's still definitely some residual human feelings that he's not too happy with, but he's, but he's still a harbor. When you, as an actor, playing Crowley, why did you see Crowley become human? And have to deal with that. I, I'd like to see Crowley do what Crowley does as Crowley unfolds in season 10. Yeah, again, more more questions for Jeremy. How much fun for you as an actor? Sure. Uh, Crowley is a really fun character to watch. Do they ever let you improvise on set or are you uh, mostly married to the topic? It's a bit difficult to improvise in the context of, of changing the meaning of of the plot or the story or the character it's not, it's not really very helpful but there's been occasions where lines have changed and we've had, we had a lot of fun with I mean, writers are amazing period, the writers are amazing and what's really really nice is there's the occasional time when something will change just a tiny bit in order to accommodate either a little more humour or, or a situational concept that we didn't realise until we're in a room actually doing it it's always different on paper than it is when you do it. But in general, I do what's in front of me. I love, the, I love the stories I've been given. I love the dialogue that's written for me. And you know, there's a couple of them. I own, I guess I own. You're good, but I'm Crowley. But that came out of a situation that was perfect for me having to get up, having been knocked down, and it was a reason to have a conversation. And it, and it gets approved. It's fun. But I tend to, I tend to really enjoy the the, the stories that that. That they give me to play. What's the atmosphere like on set? Fun. Hard work and fun. Yes, we need one last question, guys. A quick Since one. It was an interesting. It was an interesting journey. I think a lot of the um, a, a lot of the the problems with Crowley's level of humanity were very visible at that time. It's kind of fun. It was fun to do. Most 
I don't know. Like, it's been a few. End of season eight, the end of, thank you, the end of, uh, yeah, the end of season nine was pretty good too. That's some great endings. So probably it does seem a little conflicted about me being the demon. He likes it, but he didn't want it. See the guy with the glasses? <laughs> Ask him.